All right, my name is Mike Camarella. I shot this deer in Mount Renzi County on October 28th. And um, Dylan didn't even know the deer was there. Happened to crawl up in a bow stand, but I'd hunted probably 20 times without even seeing a deer. Um, I knew there was something in the area because the tracks that were crossing the road were evident that there was something of decent caliber. Um, so I went up in the stand and oh, probably half hour, 45 minutes later, a doe walked out underneath me and she looked behind her and I grabbed my bow and, and got ready and she went off and he stepped out right underneath her and I was fortunate to make a five yard shot and uh, shot him right through the heart and he went 30 yards and it was all over. So it was a pretty good hunt. That's awesome. That's sweet. You can tell that's a Big body here. He scores uh, 169 and, and 6 eighths was the score on him. No history, private land? Uh, no, it's state land. State land. It was buck. a state land buck, yep. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I know, it, you know, there, there's not a lot of agriculture and things around there in, in the area we're at, but um, there's a gene pool. Um, there's not a lot of hunters up there anymore like there used to be. And, um, swamp, swamp, cedar Yeah, swamp, it's like a cedar swamp, jack pine area. Is what it is and uh, you know we have a mix of hardwoods and uh, there's a little competition with the elk that are in the area as well but there's a possibility some of that could be going on you never know nowadays with what's happening but um, yeah so like again we you know we knew there's we know there's are there are a couple decent deer in the area um, but uh, some of that caliber just I mean it's far and few between um, you unfortunately. Run, you don't run any trail cameras? I have run trail cameras, yes. We've had some deer in the past that were of decent uh, quality. He may be one of them from two years ago. We really don't know. We didn't get anything of on camera that was uh, of sizable uh, for two years. And then he steps out. But um, when the pressure gets on, you got a lot of, you know, we got the bear season that goes on. You have small game hunters and the swamps are so thick that you basically have to crawl through them. So, a guy like him, he's only he's not coming out. Um, he happened to be trailing the doe, and you know happened to be at the right spot. And um, yeah, they can just they can hide in there, and you know they they know. I mean, when you're sitting in a tree stand, you sit there and you you listen, and you're there early in the morning. You hear the guys come in with the cars here or there, or your buddies or wherever they are. They make noise, and everything like that. And it's it's evident that um, you know a deer can just sit there and, and wait it out. And it's so. wild when you hunt big deer enough. When you see a buck of that, he almost corrals that doe and puts her where he wants her. Yes. It's totally like that doe just knows this is happening. Where do you want to do this? <laughs> exactly. And he can walk that doe back into that same cedar swamp. And get all his business done right in that same spot. In the shooting, in the area where I was hunting, it's uh, like I said, I've probably been at a stand 20 times and never seen a deer, but um, it's it's jack pines and you don't hear deer, but it's a, it's a funnel where they have to go around and they always go around, but they can go this way or that way. And there's only probably 15 or 20 yards where they're shooting at that place where you could, really nothing to the left, you got one to the, where I shot him underneath and over to the to the right, which is kind of an off shot to be able to make it happen. It was set up for more for a rifle stand, but after seeing the tracks back and forth and back and forth across the road, because I happened to be there, uh, I was up there working and um, you know had the advantage to travel down the roads at night and then look and see what was going on. Do you so, know how big he was when you shot him, or did you? Know no, I didn't. I didn't even. I looked down and I just I saw horns, you know, and I knew he was, a, you know, a good. Buck. I mean, even in that area, um, I mean, in any area, it's a great deer. But when I see when I saw the horns, I just focused off the horns. I was ready, pull back, and, and, and made the shot count. And then when I started walking up to him, you know, was there, there was no ground shrinkage. You know, he just seemed to get a little bigger and bigger as we went away, went on. So, what'd you say he scored? Uh, 169 and uh, 6 eighths.